Hello everyone, and welcome all new players of Guild Wars 2! With the announcement of the core Guild Wars 2 game being free for everyone to play, there's been a huge influx of new players. And every time this happens, there's always the question of what server do I choose? I just wanted to give new players a quick overview of how servers and worlds work in Guild Wars 2. So when you create your new account, whether it's a full paid account or free, the first thing you're going to see is this initial home world select screen. This will give you a list of all of the servers on the game, both in America and Europe. Before choosing your server, however, you're going to want to go up to where it says location and choose either America or Europe. This is your most important choice, because if you play on a European server, you cannot play with anyone on an American server and vice versa. If you choose an American server, if your friends are on a European server, you cannot play together. So make sure you find out what server your friends are on. Some people even create two different accounts, one on the American servers and one on the European servers, so they can choose which friends they want to play with at the time. It doesn't really matter if you actually live in America or Europe, you can pick whichever one you want. But remember that the servers are in either America or Europe. So for example, I live in America, I'm free to choose a European server, but there's a possibility of slightly more lag since the servers are actually in Europe. But it's never really affected my gameplay that much. So if I were creating a new account for the first time, I would choose America since I not only live in America, but most of my friends play on the American servers. So once I choose America, now I have a list of all the American servers. As you can see here, it will tell you the server population. It will be very, very difficult to get into a server that is already full. So I wouldn't waste your time trying to get on those servers, even if you have friends that are on those servers, because as we're going to discuss, the server doesn't really matter unless you're doing world versus world mode, which we'll get into in a little bit. So when it comes time to pick your server, you're probably going to want to know which servers your friends are on. Well, the good thing about Guild Wars 2 is it has a mega server system, which means that as long as you're on the same world, you don't have to be on the same server as your friends in order to play with them. So if all of my friends are on Blackgate and I can't get into Blackgate because it's full, that's okay. I can go over and choose Crystal Desert just because it sounds cool, and whether my friends or my guild are over on Blackgate, I can still play with them, no problem. And that goes for any server I pick on this world. Now, the one exception to this is world versus world mode. Without going into too much detail, Guild Wars 2 has three different game modes, your standard PvE, your standard PvP, as well as world versus world, which is a massive battle of hundreds of players at a time on the same map and pits three servers against each other. This is the only mode in the game where server absolutely matters. If you're on Tarnished Coast and all of your friends are on Blackgate, you're actually going to be fighting against your friends in World vs. World, and there's nothing you can do about this unless you transfer servers later, which involves either paying gems or deleting all the characters on your account, which isn't really something you want to do, so make sure to choose wisely if you want to do World vs. World mode with your friends. And keep in mind, if you're on a free account, you won't even be able to access World vs. World until level 60, so it's kind of an end game thing anyway. If you have friends already playing the game, ask them if they're into World vs. World. If they're not, then it's really not that big of a deal. If you're just going to jump into some PvP or explore the world in PvE and play the story, then, like I said, make sure to choose America or Europe, and then the server after that really doesn't matter that much. Don't worry about choosing a very high or a high server, you can just as easily choose a medium population server, and you will always have people to play with. The mega server system ensures that there will always be players in your map to play with. So because of the mega server system, all you have to do to play with your friends, even if they're on a different server, or they don't get into the same instance as you, is right click their name and join their party. And then once you're in a party together, you'll see that your party member's picture is either grayed out, or you'll see their character in color and detail. If it's grayed out, that means they're either in a different map than you are, or if they're in the same map, but in a different instance. So my friend is on the same map as I am, she's actually in the same location that I am, but because I'm on a different instance of this map, I don't see her. But all I have to do is right click her picture and choose Join in Queensdale, which is the map I'm on, and it will automatically transport me to the instance of the map that she's in. There she is! And now we can play together, because we're both on an American server, and even though we're on different home servers, we can still play together because of the mega server system. It's that easy. 
So that's pretty much all you need to know about worlds and servers in Guild Wars 2. If you have any further questions about it, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to answer any questions you have. Thanks so much for checking out the game. I hope to party with you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye!